welcome back so in the previous lecture we have done with the screen exit on purchase order header so now whenever we are creating a new purchase order or if you are working in a change mode we are able to see this field in the editable mode but one issue currently suppose instead of me22n now i am into me23n so ME23N is a display mode. You can see here, we cannot add any other field. Okay, but our newly added fields are still editable. Even we cannot save this, but this should not be editable. This is a requirement. Okay, whether you're coming from ME22N and going to change mode or directly entering ME23N. So my requirement is, Whenever this transition is in change mode, this should not be editable. This is the business requirement. Okay, so as you know, the, in the model programming, we make use of like loop at a screen. And through that loop at a screen, we make the screen active, inactive. Okay, based on the screen group and all. Fine. So that concept to implement. So what we'll do? See. I'll go to SC51 where we designed this screen. Okay, let me go through the C mod. This is our project, right? ZKBO1. In the change in the components, see this is screen we have designed, right? I will double click here. We'll go to change mode. So before writing, okay, so in the PBO actually, in the PBO, we have to write our code. Okay, in this PBO, we have to write our code. So currently, if I go to layout, so what we'll do, first we'll group together all these fields in a common group. Let's say I'm giving here the screen group C1. So that all field we can do in a single go. Again, I will write here C1. Okay, so what I have done, I just added the screen group 1 there. Fine. So screen group I have given. Okay, so now, as we know, we have to write that logic, like loop at a screen, in the flow logic of the respective screen. Okay. Whenever, if you have worked on the module program, you might have used that, like loop at a screen concept. So inside the screen, in the PBO, we have to use that. Now I will click here on the PBO. Double click. Create the new object. Give the include name, keep this first include as it is. Save in the package, save in the TR. Now, here we can we can write like loop at a screen. Okay. End loop. First I'm writing by default display mode. Let's see. Okay. So now I will write here if a screen group 1 equals to what I given it there, C1. And if, okay, and then screen active equals to 0 and modify a screen. This code I have written, what this will do currently? By default, this will make the field disable if the screen group 1 is C1. Okay, just try. So now I have added here, I will activate the screen. Again, I will go to ME22N, not 23. Now I'm going into ME22N. Okay, so now if I press F8 here, see the screen active zero. Okay, I want to make, uh, sorry, I did one mistake. Instead of screen active zero, I have to make input zero. Active means it will completely disappear. I have to make here, instead of active, Input equal to zero. Fine. Now again, I'm going into ME22N. Now see. Currently in, in display mode, I'm not able to edit anything. Okay, so this is working fine. But here I am in ME22N, right? So in the ME22N system should allow. System should allow us only in the ME23N 
when it is in display mode then system should not allow to add it okay so what we have to do how we will find out like whether this is the change mode create mode or display mode so for that there is a concept of transition type i will explain that see till now what i have done in the sub screen 101 of this program i open this pbo and i have written this logic here now i want to know whether the system is in like create mode change mode and display or display mode but what most of the consultant do they hard code here transition code they check here like if psi t code equal to like me23n okay so like this they do the coding but this is wrong approach actually this will work but in some case this will fail also in some case this will fail also you should not check this me23 and t code etc if it is a standard one for the standard one there is a good concept of transition type i will show what is that transition type okay so for that again we have to come here in the PBO. So where this in this exit, if I double click in this PBO exit, here we can see in the importing parameter one field is there, I underscore TR type. Okay, I underscore TR type. What is showing? It is showing it is create, change, or display. This is care one. That's why nothing is there here. It is care one. So if it is create. I think it will the value will be H. For change, it is V. And for display, it is A. Okay. So now, this input is here. This input is here in this function model. But where is our code? Our code is in other include. In SC51 of that sub program, our code is in this include. So how we'll pass the value from this import field of this exit to the is screen include how we'll pass that so for that as we know this all we are doing through the screen exit and the all code complete code is implemented through function model right and every function model is assigned to a function group okay a function group is a content of a function model so what we'll do we'll declare one variable in this function group top include Okay, we'll pass the value of this field to the newly declared field of this top include. And based on that, because both the include are in same function group, so we'll able to access that top include field here. Okay, so before that, let me again go to ME21N first. See, I'm going to ME21N. So now here I'm into ME21N and this is the PBO exit, right? What is my field name? I underscore TR type. So the value is H. This means that I will enter here psi T code. For ME21N, when it is create mode, the value is H. Okay. Now, suppose if I'm going to change mode, ME22N, so in the ME22N, in the same PBO, the value of that field will be V. See, here it is V. Okay, ME22 V. Now the last one. The last one, I'm going here into ME23N. So in the ME23N, the value for the same include, same field, import field is A. This means that when we enter the T code ME23N, the value is A. Okay, but why why I'm saying like we should not use transition code? Because see, for ME21 it is H, ME22 it is like V, ME23N it is A. So why I'm saying don't use T code and use this one? Let me show you one more type. See, I will log in with ME22N. ME22N, I have login. Okay. 
type v and t code me22n display mode uh, sorry change mode okay now i'm pressing f8 i'm able to edit now from the same transition code if i switch to the display mode see again i press f8 pbo is triggered see the type is changed the type is a that is display mode but it's still here the t code is same me22n that's why instead of hard coding the transition code better use this transition type fine so now we'll start working on that so as i explained first we have to declare a field in the top include so i will again go to this okay so cmod this project double click here go to global data double click on this top it is not yet created do you want to create yes i want to create save in a package now here i will declare one variable gv underscore tr type a type care one fine save check module status is already defined for output module where it is giving this error okay it is giving error of some other program actually means other uh, let me comment this okay temporary comment that let me check this and activate okay so always like when you are working first instead of that loop first do the top declaration here okay do top declaration here now go back make sure this is active state now the first thing i will do here because here i am getting in this importing parameter okay so i will double click here and here i will type like gv underscore c that is appearing tr type equal to i will assign the value i underscore tr type save check gv tr type unknown i don't know why in this demo system it is giving error but it should not give any error in your system so i will just activate it because i already declare in the global data declaration okay i am sure you will not get this error in your system fine so i have assigned the importing parameter value to gv underscore tr type so this is done okay this is done now i will go back to screen i will go back to screen again model status 1 let me create okay it is already created okay but i have comment that that's why it is not appearing okay let me just go back to that program yes yeah, same program i will just uncomment now let me save check and activate no error okay so here what i will do i will check here if gv underscore tr type equals to a okay end if again the same error don't know why system is giving fine so what i have done see in the top include in the top include we have declared this variable then in the pbo exit we have assigned the value of i underscore tr type to this variable okay and from there i will set on breakpoint here as well now you're done i will explain the all the steps one more time first let's try go to me21n 
this is ME21N, right? As of now, I will just press F8. This is editable. Fine. Now I will log off. I will come out from this transition code. I will go to ME22N. Here it is V. Again, we can see in the change mode. Okay. In the change mode. I will save this. I change the value to okay. So now I will go to ME twenty three N. See now if I go to ME twenty three N, TBO transition type A. The value is assigned. To this GV underscore type A, if I press F8, so the PBO of that subscreen, the PBO of that subscreen is called. Now here transition type is A, system will loop at a screen, and whenever the screen group is one, now it should be in display mode. Now if I try to change C, it is not working. Okay, because I enter ME twenty three N there. And I'm to display mode. Okay. Now from the same ME twenty three N, if I am going to change mode, most of the time we work like this way. First we go to display mode, and then we switch to change mode. Okay. Now if I press F eight, see what is the type now? The old type was A. I log in as a ME twenty three N. Okay. But from the top, I change to display change mode. So the new type is V. Now system should allow. Even though the T code is ME23N, why? Because I not hard coded, I not hard coded that transition code. See, okay. Even though my transition code is now ME23N, but because I am in change mode, I am using that transition type concept, so I am able to do this. Fine. So in this way, we are done with this session, and we will learn how to make. The screen exit field editable, non-editable, based on transition type. So I explain. Let me show you the steps again, because lot of theory I explain in between. So you should not get confused while you are working. So what you will do? The very first thing. Go to your C mod. C mod project. Go to component. The respective PBO. Go to global data. Double click on Z top. Declare this. Once you declare, come back. Activate the program properly. Here we have this importing field. Go to source code. Assign the value of the importing field to the global declare variable. Once this is done, go to SE fifty one. Our sub screen. By default, that PBO was in comment mode. Open that, double click, and create the program. Here, read the value for the global variable. If it is A, that is display mode, and all the fields. I added only two fields. If you have ten fields, group together all the ten fields in one screen group C1, and just simply write this logic. Look at the screen. If screen group C1 input equal to zero. Modify a screen. If a requirement is completely hide that field on the screen, here replace this input by active inactive, active equal to zero. Fine, very simple because I explained a lot of theory. That's why it took some time. So in this way, we done with the session on like making a field disable for the display mode transition code. Thank you.